I hope you're having an amazing day. My name is Colin and in this video I will show you the top three gaming projects I'm buying right now for $10,000 each. Nothing in this video is financial advice, it is for entertainment purposes only. The first one up, Cryo War. I've spoken about it many times, I was looking for an entry position. I did miss out a little bit, but I just placed my order about 10 minutes ago for $10,000 and it already got filled 70%. So I'm just waiting for the remaining 30%. The chart is going up and down a little bit, but I'm positive that this order will be filled later. So Cryo War did make quite the sprint and then it went down again. That's all good. So it was under a dollar and that was my original entry point. I said I would buy it at a dollar. Then I didn't do that, I was waiting, and that's one of the mistakes we often get. We need to follow the strategy, not get emotional about what's happening, follow the preset strategy. So I was waiting, and then yesterday, all of a sudden, or this morning, it skyrocketed to $1.30. Then it came crashing down, which was basically my indicator that I need to make an entry, right? I might not get this opportunity again if Bitcoin slowly recovers. So I did put my order in on the pre-estimated plan that I prepared, which was a dollar, which you can see right here for one dollar and one hundredth of a cent. I buy 10,000 Seawar tokens, which is just over $10,000, literally like one tenth of a cent above $10,000. Uh, for the longevity of this project. I will slowly tell you what I specifically like about this project if you haven't seen my previous videos. And you should have seen them. And if you didn't, subscribe to the channel right now to make sure you never miss out again. So Cry War is a mobile arena battle style game. I'm very hyped about what they have delivered so far. I think it's extremely impressive. I have been a fan of Solana blockchain games, so that's been going for them really well. The website takes a little bit of time to load uh, because they have a lot of cool artwork and video. But as you can see right here, this is actual gameplay. This is not uh, some type of you know overhyped estimation of what you can expect. And because it's mobile, there's no joysticks, nothing like that. There are on-screen buttons to play. You can basically play it at any time, short sessions. This is basically created for mass adoption. And that's what I'm looking for. High quality, mass adoption, simple, don't make it too difficult. And which gamer doesn't like a good hack and slash game, right? So you can read all about this game. I'm not going to go into too many details, but it's built on Unreal Engine. In my opinion, it does look unreal. I think it looks really well. The community, the moderators, the admins, I'm really happy about what they have done so far. But of course, I'm looking at a medium to long term entry here. And when I say medium to long term, I'm talking three to six months hold. I did ask a very specific question on Discord, when I, which I can show you. I just spoke with the moderator here, which you can see. So I asked them if the staking is already available because I am going to hold it long term. I'm looking for single sided staking and uh, that is not available right now. So they do have the liquidity pair, but I do not do liquidity farming. So I asked when is the ETA for the single sided staking and they said quarter one surely. So that's fine. I mean, right now it's early January. I have to wait maybe two months. If I'm going to hold for six months, then four months I can have APR benefits on my staking because I do believe in this project for the long term. He said, bring your friends here. I have no friends. And he was quite funny there. <laughs> I thought that was quite cool uh, reply. So definitely choir war, interesting project all in all. The major thing, in my opinion, is when the market, uh, so they did really well from the IDO price, right? So I think the IDO price uh, was extremely low. If we look at crypto rank, for example, and we pull up cryo war, we can see definitely a lot of potential 36 times uh, it launched at 2.8 cents. So all time high 170 times. This was a amazing launch cryo war right now still sitting at 36 x at a dollar uh, obviously the all-time high was four dollars seventy four dollars seventy two ish uh, which is amazing result so in the medium long term 
right? Let's say the market recovers. It might take four months. It might take six months. It might take 12 months. I'm going to store this in my long-term portfolio, which means that I'm now buying, which is almost there, <laughs> very close. It might happen right here, right now. Um, $10,000 worth of seawar, and I'm not going to sell this anytime soon. I'm going to hold on to this bag and basically uh, ride that wave of at least a 4x, but I think this game can do more into the future. So turning this $10,000 into $40,000 or more, but I'm patient on this one. Yes, this is not a flip. Sometimes I do micro cap flips. This is sitting at an $86 million valuation. So definitely not micro cap, but definitely a lot of opportunity, in my opinion, for Cryo War. Animoca Brands uh, was the one that alerted me uh, because that's one of the investors that I highly follow on a daily basis, actually. Uh, and that's how I got to know Cryo War where my favorite artwork i show it in any video is this valkyrie skin 2. i think generally it looks uh, impressive but it's most important about the game right that is the most important thing the mass adoption the next game we're actually going to look at or gaming coin in that specific scene is not necessarily a gaming project by itself i haven't taken an entry yet but I am looking to do that this week or early next week, depending on the market conditions. So with these entries, right, you just have to make a choice when to enter. Whether the market goes up or down, you have to look at it like this. I'm taking these entries for medium long term, right, which in my opinion is four to six months in the crypto market is already quite a long time. Are there other coins to consider? Definitely. I'm just going to talk about these three in this specific video because they have my interest right now at the moment. There are many, many other gaming projects I'm looking at, but Gala is one that I had before uh, and I'm looking to expand my portfolio with Gala and I'll tell you exactly why. So the all-time curve, you can see it's been around for a long time, did a rapid acceleration last year in the crypto gaming bull run, uh, where we can basically see that hype basically reaching a level of about 70, 75 cents. Sitting about half of the all-time high right now, it's still extremely stable. Am I looking for a 5X here? Maybe after the completion of the next bull run, 5X, I think that's still opportunity there. When I say six month term, I'm basically looking to get back to the all time high, taking less significant risk in my portfolio, where Cryo War could mess up their entire game and basically destroy the project. Gala is a combination of several games, right? Gala games, they have NFTs, they sell notes, they do all kinds of games for all kinds of projects. And basically this is an umbrella project for other projects to basically um, utilize. They have their own store, they have the notes, as I said, it's, it's huge, right? When we look at the games, they have The Walking Dead, Miranda's, Legacy, Le Lost Expedition, Echoes of Empire, Spider Tanks, Townstar, Fortified, and more are being added. So they say PC, Mac, whatever is working. And there's a lot of NFTs, land options for, for any of these things. Uh, but they have a strong foundation and they are expanding. That's why I think it's interesting. Uh, they will be releasing the Gala chain, which makes it even more interesting, right? Uh, over time, I think something that's already in the top 100, right? Uh, sitting on 56, it doesn't have tremendous potential for like a 10, 50x growth or nothing like that. But you also want to diversify and, and take into consideration the risk you are exposed to. And I believe that we had a good entry here, obviously on 29 cents. However, if you zoom out, we still have half of the all-time high, so a great opportunity, right? The best way to go was obviously to enter here, but that opportunity has long passed and I don't think we'll ever see that again. So Gala Games is definitely one. Ooh, there we go. Yes, we got a little bit more. Sorry guys, I'm just watching my live trade right here. It is right now, this is my buy order. Somebody put a small buy order on top of it. Yes, it's gone. 
$10,000 worth of CUR purchased. Now we don't have to look at it again for the next four to six to 12 months, depending uh, on what the market is going to do. You hear it here first, live purchase. So I can remove that. But Gala is definitely one of my uh, longer term plays within the gaming niche of which I focus. Of course, you see in this YouTube channel, I basically only cover gaming projects lately. Uh, and Gala just shows tremendous potential, just like uh, Falcon Forged, right? It's kind of the same system, uh, getting that entry there. Gala. My projections would be back to all time high would already make me happy. Uh, which is basically a 100% gain. So if I put in 10,000, I would get 10,000 out. I haven't looked at the actual staking options, uh, to be fair. So that's why I said I'm not going to buy it right now. I'll probably take a couple of days to do research. I'm not really into liquidity farming, anything like that, but I do like single sided staking if I'm going to hold it for a long time. So I can even go to staking rewards is a website that I tend to use. Uh, and then we can look up Gala to see if it's um, if it's here at all to see if they offer staking or not and what the return would be and where we would have to stake it can I search for Gala games so there's a lot of different options Gala games staking because then holding it like can you stake Gala? Okay, yeah, so probably I'll have to some, do some research. I don't want to waste your time uh, on this on this video specifically, but I do think Gala is interesting. There must be some way to stake it to get some benefit because if you're going to hold these tokens long term, then even a 5% uh, APR gain on the actual token is better than nothing right depends obviously on the lock terms but if you already know even if the market goes down you're not going to dump it right because you're committed for it for the long term then you might as well stake it because in your wallet it's not really worth anything more the money is not working for you right so that's something i would be focused on definitely i already mentioned it the next one i'm going to look at is falcon Ooh, just took a little small run literally just right now I don't know why, but let's have a look on Dex tools. What is actually happening? So it, it's been uh, quite low. There were obviously there was one hack. There was some things going on with the actual uh, project where people lost some interest or confidence. 30.7, but this is not the right one. This is the Ethereum contract, but it's not picking it up. Why not? Is there no pool available? Is this the one? 15. This also is a fake one. Okay, maybe I'll just take the Polygon contract in that case. Polygon blockchain. There's a Polygon contract right here. Yep, there we go. Waiting, processing. Pair is not ready, no liquidity. Okay. There are a lot of transactions on it though, and a lot of holders. What about this one? Well, let's explore because we can investigate why this is pumping so much. But the question really is, look at the last time. Yes, started at a dollar, went to $46 on the Binance listing, and now we're here. Obviously, I don't think to anybody I would have to explain this graph, what the potential is. Falcon exposed to a little bit more risk because of the hack, because of the compensation they did, which I think is great, right? Um, there were some problems with their wallets that, that people um, have problems with. 
So that's why there were some some major uh, downtrends. And of course, when the market went down, specifically Binance uh, locked uh, some features regarding Vulcan. I do think it's still available. Yep, it's actively trading. It is on a lot of big exchanges. So definitely the upward trend of the Bitcoin market, if the market goes up, I think Vulcan will have an amazing recovery. So the, the, the live charts are not loading. It doesn't matter. I think this is an easy 3x to the all time high. And I think it can even go beyond that. It's sitting at place 260 with a 344 market cap with a three and a half X. We're looking at 1 billion, which is still, I think, for the system that they're building, um, a correct valuation, right? They're heading into the umbrella category like Gala, which I think is amazing. The exact details of the project I have not investigated. I haven't gone through it uh, with detailed research. I have done multiple entries in Vulcan. I have done multiple short term exits out of Vulcan with good profits. Now, because the token is so low relative uh, to basically $11 just under a week ago, I think the moment of making an entry uh, because we always say like, oh, why didn't you make an entry at $11? Would have, could have, should have, you didn't do that. So now we need to look at what is the next possible entry. Are you going to wait and possibly miss the train waiting for another dump? Or are you just going to make an entry knowing that you're going to hold it for 6, 12 months and probably see a lot more pumps, a lot more dumps along the way? Right? So that's definitely something I take into consideration at the moment while I'm doing my analysis. Let me try and sketch you that, that specific part here. That's the major thing I'm looking at. So coming from that all time high right here, we only went down and quite aggressively as well. So this happened in a matter of one week. It basically lost half its value. And then it just went with Bitcoin in a downward linear trend, basically now indicating a small recovery opportunity right there tradable volume really high 42 million so i don't see any problems there uh, it's still in high demand obviously binance qcoin the reason that i'm not too worried about price volatility if i'm going to commit myself to this project for 6 to 12 months uh, believing it can reach a top 100 position on the overall coin market cap being one of the biggest movers in crypto gaming let's say next to Sandbox, next to the Central and uh, carrying the metaverse, Gala carrying the gaming scene. Uh, Falcon should be there, in my opinion, the way they are expanding, if they can keep up the quality. And the quality has been a little bit lagging lately because nobody can foresee a hack, uh, but obviously they, they tried their best. But I do think the quality and the security is important. And I do believe the team understands this, right? So that's not necessarily a problem with uh, micro cap coins coins i'm going to look at flipping in days and weeks specifically i'm looking at volume market cap what the best entry position is so in that case 11 or 15 dollars which is a 35 percent difference is very important for the quick flips but for the long term it doesn't really matter that much because at some point you need to take an entry and usually in six months a lot of things can happen in the crypto market or the bull run is officially over we're heading into a bear market and you're going to need to hold for another 12 to 24 months which for me is also not a problem right i am uh, in a very good position personally financially uh, in business uh, but would it be uh, tripling back to an all-time high in the next six months? That would also be amazing, obviously, because the faster, the better, right? So those are my top three picks. Cryo War has been entered. Gala, I'm going to research the staking. And Falcon, I'm also basically going to research the staking. So it basically depends on the staking rewards. Uh, the market volatility doesn't really matter that much uh, at this point because I've made up my mind about holding these medium or long term four to six months minimum that means obviously i'm going to consider a lot more projects i'm still flipping the micro caps as often as possible and if i find some i'll let you know on this channel if you have any questions feel free to drop them down in the comments below subscribe for future content thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one